Okay, guys. Um, Dantamius pushed out another banger. I already know it because I have foresight. Sight. I have four eyes. <laughs> anyway, it's called the deepest fortune iceberg explained by Daniel Tavenoskibus. Are you ready? Let's do it. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Uh, that is a World of Warcraft commercial, uh, similar to the Mister T Night Elf Mohawk commercial, but. Uh, with a Sopranos man. So. Uh, 4chan, the most compelling argument for mandatory yeah. castration. How you doing? Based. I'm Dan Tavius. Today, we're going to be doing an Iceberg Explain video on one of my favorite websites. Based, based. 4chan. Why and is now, your I favorites? realize a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. My favorite is uh, Red Gifts. That might come off as normie if you're already familiar with 4chan. But, you know, just keep watching because we're going to start off with the most obvious, well known stuff and we'll get into the more obscure stuff later. Don't look that up. And I know I keep saying this, but. This is the last one. I'm serious. This is the last Iceberg Explained video I'm doing. That's it. No. Why? These are good videos. I like when Dan TV says this. I guess he's getting bored of the Iceberg stuff, but I personally like them. They're pretty fun. Um, Dan Tavis, let's play video games together, brother. More after this. Let's begin. B, or random as it's also known, was 4chan's first message board. You yep, 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 yep. You know, let me tell you something. I am not one of the original, the OGs, the original gangsters. But now, 4chan is just, you know, you just kind of look at pictures on there like and stuff like that and cartel videos those are the only things that are on there now i think that everybody moved to some other chan like eight chan or chris chan or something i don't know basically whatever they want on here and for that reason most of the degenerate stuff that 4chan is known for is usually born here now believe it or not i used to be a bit of a b-tard myself back in the day. I, mean, I, I was a, i was a misker are you aware that's what i was how do you like that about 17 years of age, browsing B during one of my many nitrous oxide binges. Wow. <laughs> Good times. Green texts are what's like that? stories or anecdotes that what are written in a way that's that unique to 4chan. Mean? It's hard to explain, so let me just give you a few examples. Be me. 34. Schizo. Can't hold down a job. Hard to just get out of the house. $25,000 neat bucks a year. Fat. Man. Drink. Smoke. Fist. Spend every day in front of the computer laughing to. Frogs. Wojak. I'm pretty sure everyone <laughs> has seen a Wojak at this point. Uh, I've used them frogs. in a bunch of my thumbnails. The only way you haven't seen one is if you've been in a coma since 2008. And if you have, I guess you probably so. wish you were still in that coma. Anyways, Wojaks come in a bunch of different varieties. You got your Soy Jack, you got your they come. NPC, you got the Withered Wojak, the Coomer, the Doomer, the Consumer, the 30 year old Boomer, and my personal favorite, Damn. Drug Pepe. Before Wojax, we had Pepe the Frog, which is the OG reaction character. Similar to Wojax, Pepe also had a bunch of different variations like Smug Pepe and Pee Pee Poo Poo Pepe. He originally oh, appeared in the comic book series Boys Club in this comic strip where he pulls his pants down at the urinal and says, Feels good, man. But a whole culture oh, formed incredible. around this character with a bunch of 4chan users making their own comics and memes. It does kind of feel good to pull your pants down at the urinal. The urinal. I've never done it before. Just don't correct me. <clears throat> I've never done that before. But from what I've heard, it's very, it's very freeing. With him okay. to the store. He also became associated with the alt right at some point, but Damn. we'll get into that later. The Anonymous is a loosely organized group of hackers that originate on 4chan. The name Anonymous comes from the fact that most of 4chan anomalous. users don't have a username or anything. They're just anonymous. True. So these 4chan hackers have been behind some crazy stunts over the years, which again, <clears throat> am I ever doing a meet and greet? Here's the problem for me doing a meet and greet. I am, I am so incredibly unpopular. Okay, if I did a meet and greet, nobody would show up. Um, and it would be embarrassing. All right. If you see me in public, walk up to me and say hi. That's your me. <laughs> because I'm a, I'm a loser. Okay. Intellate. Bronies. Bronies are grown ass adult males who are huge fans of the show My Little Pony. Yep. The standard. And they are disproportionately autistic. Funny story. I watched a. Uh, I watched a a bit. I watched a documentary on Bronies. Turns out a lot of them had autism. So I took an autism test online. I have it too, guys. That's not self-diagnosing, okay? Because an internet query told me that I had autisms, all right? So, yeah. Brony looks something like this. R9K, a.k.a. Robot9001, is a board that was... Wait, what do they look like? The standard Brony looks something like this. Oh, himself. R9K, a.k.a. Robot9001, uh, is a board that was originally intended to be exclusively for original content only. If you posted something in there that had already been posted before, it would automatically get deleted. Eventually, the board just evolved into people posting a bunch of green text stories about their lives, mostly complaining about how shitty it is. Hole. 
Poll is the politically incorrect board. They show up the most VidCon? popular image board. On Dantavis keeps trying to telling me I should go to VidCon. I don't know. 4chan and probably the most degenerate one as well. It's a place to discuss news, world events, and political issues and other related topics. If you know nudes. anything about 4chan, you know this is a wild place. This is like the internet equivalent of a gas station bathroom. Weeb. A weeb is a white yeah. dude who is obsessed with Japanese culture, specifically. Is it a white person? I thought it was just anybody. What about an otaku? I'm not a weeb. I'm a fucking otaku, guys. All right, I am very cultured in Japanese hentai, my lady. Anime, rage comics. These were shitty amateur comics that were popular in 4chan back in like 2008. It's the most popular rage look, comics okay. character was, of course, Trollface, and people use Trollface today to indicate that some trolling is going down. We do a little trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. True. <laughs> Guys, I'm really excited about the sponsor of today's video. Ooh, what is it? Holtzkern. If you haven't Why? heard of Holtzkern, they're an Austrian company that specializes in watches. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the only thing I need to watch is my is my diet. <laughs> go go get a, go get a watch, guys. Go get a watch. Full breakdown. Cicada 3301. I've talked about this in multiple videos. Okay. If you want a full breakdown, watch my disturbing Reddit post iceberg. But I'll give a basic rundown here. January 4th, 2012, this image was posted to 4chan. Okay. We're looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, I'm we out. have devised a test. There's a message hidden in this image. Now, I remember when this came out, I actually attempted to decipher it myself. I oh. thought, hey, I'm a smart guy, okay? I have like 12 degrees from DeVry University, so this should be a cakewalk. <laughs> Boy, was I, I could do a cakewalk. People who were smart <laughs> enough to decipher the initial clue were led down a crazy rabbit hole of puzzles and tests that they needed to solve. Eventually, some guy found coordinates that led to multiple locations all over the world. And if you went to those locations, crazy. you would find a QR code that took people to a website on the dark web. After about a month of this, the creator of Cicada 3301 posted this message on 4chan. We have now found the individuals we sought, thus our month-long journey ends. Nobody what? Like, what were these individuals supposed to do? They just have to decipher the code, and then they have to have the resources to show up and hit the QR code for every single one of those things? Interesting. Okay. He knows who these people are, if they're a cult, if they're CIA, or if it's just some fat neckbeard who made a bunch of money on Bitcoin and is just fucking around with people. Nice the Habbo Hotel Ray. This is a classic. If you don't know Habbo what Hotel, up? it was kind of like a video game chat room where you would make these avatars and just go talk to people. One of the most popular hangouts... Now people use VR chat in the game was of course the pool so a bunch of people on 4chan made their own characters and exploited a glitch that allowed them to block off the pool where they kept spamming the phrase pools closed due to age keck keck is the 4chan version of lol that's it oh i noticed in this image that there's a lot of there's people in the pool like this white girl but the for some reason the the young african-american gentleman have not entered the pool i wonder why okay they're not letting them the segregation. Okay. I don't know Banning what's the going phrase, on with that. Pools closed due to AIDS. Keck. Keck. Sounds like a racist thing. I don't know. It is the 4chan version of LOL. Yeah, I think that started in World of Warcraft, the Keck thing. If you've ever played World of Warcraft, yeah, you yeah, know why. Yeah. When a horror character would type in LOL, the Alliance players would see it as K-E-K -E instead. Yep, yeah, Eventually, yeah. this turned into its own country and religion. Kekistan is the country of origin for all wow. whole shit posters, and they worship the Egyptian <laughs> deity Keck, wow. which is represented by Pepe the Frog. Is that now, real? To this day, there's this only one country in the world who recognizes Kekistan's sovereignty. Although I imagine that, like, what is a religion, am I right? And that's Kosovo. 4chan Tumblr mm -hmm. Wars. 4chan and Tumblr basically represented both sides of the internet. Yeah. 4chan being the male-dominated, politically incorrect side, while Tumblr was the mostly female SJW side. Interesting thing about 4chan and Tumblr that they have in common, riddled with child porn. Boom. Oh. The more you know. And it should go without saying that both sides absolutely hated each other. And in 2014, this hatred turned into a full-blown war. Except instead of guns and bombs, they were fighting with shit posts. On June 14th, popping, Tumblr started bro. the aggression with this post detailing how Tumblr users were going to raid 4chan. We will go to their site as a form of protest. We will overwhelm them with corrections on their awful lies and let them really know what the world thinks of them. But 4chan didn't just take this assault lying down. They launched their own counteroffensive where they... Yeah, and they called it a pepper. <laughs> Sorry. Flooding Tumblr posts with gore, racism, and anti-SJW memes. Jesus Christ. Tumblr then had to go on the defensive and countered those posts with posts of cute animals and rainbows. True. When the dust finally settled, the only thing that war proved is that war. You know, it's interesting. If they went on to 4chan and they bombarded that with, like, rainbows and, you know, kitties and all that stuff, it actually probably would have had an impact. They would have fought, they fought, it, fought it with love because they would have... The 4chaners would have loved that meme and it would have stayed forever. Like, just weird, like, kittens and shit. <clears throat> War never changes. 
Moot, aka Chris Poole, is the guy who created 4chan. Ah, the decision which the Facebook sure he guy. regrets every single day. Conspiracies. So a lot of internet conspiracy theories get their start on 4chan's X board, also known as the Paranormal Board. Uh, yeah. Pizza I prefer the XXX board. <laughs> Hunan being the best examples. Speaking of that, Pizzagate. <laughs> I mean, there goes my hopes of monetizing this video. Pizzagate was a theory that a pizza place in DC was secretly a front for a child trafficking ring. The reason people yeah. believe this is because somebody hacked Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman's emails, and in a few of the emails, he was talking with the owner of Comet Ping Pong and Pizza. So some people on 4chan thought that these messages were coded and that there were kids being held in the basement of the pizza place. QAnon was this guy who claimed to work for US intelligence. Hot dog boy, pizza girl, cheese little girl, pasta little boy, ice cream male, prostitute, walnut, person of color, <laughs> map, I don't know what that says, and sauce, I don't know what that one is either. And that there were kids being held in the basement of the pizza place. Incredible. QAnon was this guy who claimed to work for US intelligence who started leaking information to the poll board. The stuff he was saying was like Pizzagate but on steroids. That a global cabal of Democrats and celebrities were trafficking children and drinking their blood. Whoa. And Donald Trump was fighting a secret shadow war to try and stop them. One of the Good craziest Trump, things man. that Q said was that John F. Kennedy Jr. faked his own death in 1999 and he's actually Q. Mart. Like he himself is Q and that he was going to come back from the dead and expose this whole thing. Gamergate. Maybe. A few years ago you couldn't go anywhere on the you internet never know. about Gamergate. But I never really gave enough of a shit to look into it, but basically Gamergate was another stupid moment in the culture war where gamers and SJWs faced off against each other. Yeah, I still don't understand Gamergate, to be honest with you. It's out of my element on that one. It all started with an indie developer named Zoe Quinn that dropped a ah, game called Depression Quest. Many gamers thought her game was a heaping pile of dog shit, big but gaming journalists gave Sorry. it glowing reviews. So gamers were already pissed off about this, but then a blog post came out from Zoe's ex-boyfriend who claimed that she was sleeping with a video game reviewer in exchange for positive reviews. Now, I would too. The gamers were really pissed. They weaponized all that pent-up sexual frustration and started sending Zoe death threats and even leaked her address. It got so bad that she eventually had to move from her house. And eventually people on 4chan and 8chan got together and decided to go after other people too. Like feminist media journalist Anita Sarkeesian Whoa. and another game developer, Brianna Wu. Now, I'm oh, guessing okay. there was probably like 27 people total participating in these harassment campaigns. But I remember the media at the time was acting like every single male gamer in the world was a direct participant in this. True. Scientology. So 4chan was. has a long-standing beef with the Church of Scientology. In 2008, they launched a whole ass crusade against them. The whole thing started on January 14th when a video was posted on YouTube of Tom Cruise talking about how much he loves Scientology. The video was yeah. pretty embarrassing and Tom looked like he was high on nitrous oxide. I prefer math class. So the Church of Scientology threatened to sue anybody who hosted or posted. You know, I, I, I learned this the other day. Probably, you all might know this, but apparently the reason that Isaac Hayes right left um, South Park before he tragically passed away was because he was a Scientologist and they made fun of that religion um, on... South Park, so he left. So. The video. YouTube buckled under the pressure and took the video down. And after news came out that they tried to take the video down, 4chan mobilized the troops and put Project Chanology into effect. On January 21st, Anonymous released a video called Message to Scientology. It was pretty much a formal declaration of war. Over the years, we have been watching you, your campaigns of misinformation, your suppression of dissent, your litigious nature. All of these things have caught right. With the leakage of your latest propaganda video into mainstream circulation, the extent of your malign influence over those who have come to trust you as leaders has been made clear those to of us. You have come. Anonymous has therefore decided that your organization should be destroyed. First, they Damn. DDoS Scientology's website. Then they made it so that Scientology was the first result when Googling dangerous cult. Then people all over the world started- <laughs> Well, how do they even do that? That's kind of based. How do they even do that? <laughs> protesting in front of Scientology centers, blasting, never going to give you up on their boombox. Okay. So absolute certified hood classic. You know, it, it's funny, man, because half the time 4chan or- a It would have been so much better, bro. It would have been crazy if like now it, like things were different. Um, because there are so many better songs that they could have played. Like, unironically, um, unironically, like that one guy, so funny. Like, imagine blasting something like this. How awesome would that be? Let's be real here, okay? Rather hear that than never gonna give you up. That's where I'm at, okay?
bunch of scumbag degenerates and the other half they're invaluable members of society vip the vip board is similar to b in that it has no rules you can post whatever random topic you want anybody can see the post but only people who cough up 20 bucks a year can post and what? i had no clue 4chan had a premium version that apps that's absolutely wild to me neat neat is an acronym for not in education employment or training on 4chan, it's synonymous oh. with neckbeards and lazy bumps. Yeah. Shrek is love, Shrek is life is a green text story that was posted on January 14th, 2008. The story was about a kid who was praying. Question. What's better, Shrek 2 or Spirited Away? What's the better anime? I mean, what's the better animated feature? Unironic question. I want to hear your actual answers. To Shrek, when suddenly Shrek appeared in his room and proceeded to anally brutalize him. Whoa! Genre of story that became sounds a thing on 4chan, fun. and pretty soon other people were writing tales about how they were sodomized by the Green Ogre. Burger King yeah. Foot Lettuce. If you're not familiar with this one, it's one of the most disturbing things on Number 4chan. Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing oh, you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. A 4chaner uploaded a photo that might anonymously be what you get. to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce. 4chan Twitch League. This happened pretty recently, back in October of 2020. Somebody made this post on 4chan. In this post, oh, the Anon linked a torrent to Twitch's source code along with a list of how much money the top streamers were making on the platform. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so embarrassing. Everybody found out that they made so much money. <laughs> Maybe one day. Hackers on steroids. One of the first ever mentions of Anonymous by the mainstream media was this guy. They call themselves Anonymous. They are hackers on steroids. So hackers members of Anonymous now steroids. jokingly use this term to refer... Why are they on steroids though? Like, what did the steroids do for you as a hacker? Somebody let me know. Referred to themselves. Moot retirement. This is referring to Moot officially retiring as 4chan's administrator. Dude probably realized he created a Frankenstein's monster, so he called it quits. He made a post Maybe. on 4chan saying he basically couldn't handle the pressure anymore. The Fappening Damn. refers to an incident in 2014 where dozens of celebrities' nude photos were leaked onto 4chan Reddit. These uh, that was an interesting time to be alive. These images were collected by- Now you don't even need the Fappening anymore. You can just deepfake everything, you know? You think about it, deep fakes are actually pretty good. You know, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking, okay? A group of anonymous hackers who exploited iCloud to get access to celebrities' photos collections. Now, it started out that these guys would just share the photos amongst each other, but then one of these schmucks got amongst greedy us. and decided he was going to leak them and try to make some money. Eventually, hundreds of these photos hey. ended up on 4chan. <clears throat> Emma Watson, Jennifer Lawrence, Selena Gomez. Wow. Sadly, no Danny DeVito. These photos True. then made their way to... Hey! Don't objectify the Davidster. Edit where a dedicated subreddit was made, r slash the fappening, which got a hundred thousand subs in one day. Eventually, Whoa. five of the people responsible for these leaks were charged with unauthorized access to a protected computer and were eventually sentenced to prison. Po That's good though. You should go to prison for that. Most of Jeffrey Epstein's death before it was publicly known. Ooh. As we all know, back in 2019, Jeffrey Jepstein killed himself Whoa. in a New York City jail while on trial. But what you may not know is that before any mainstream news outlet broke the news, 4chan broke the news. 40 minutes before anybody reported on Jepstein's passing, this post was made on 4chan. Don't ask me how I know, but Epstein died an hour ago from hanging to cardiac arrest. Hiro wow. News, also known as Hiroyuki Nishimura, is the creator of 2chan, which is like a Japanese version of 4chan. And as of 2015, he also owns 4chan, which he bought from the regular moot. His other nicknames uh. include Hiroshima Nagasaki, Jackie 4chan, okay. and of course, Hiroshima. Also, there's one more name, but I'm not going to say it. Nintendo Why? hack. Somebody hacked into Nintendo servers and leaked a bunch of information on 4chan from 2018 to 2020. These what, what could they have possibly leaked? Like... Your fucking characters in Animal Crossing? Leaks included source code, assets, oh. ROMs, and sexy Bowser Rule 34. What? Let's go back to that. <laughs> Chan. It's like 4chan, except twice as degenerate. Nice. The website came under a lot of heat because multiple mass scooters were active on the site. Mass scooters? One in particular oh. posted his manifesto three oh. hours before- I didn't. I didn't pick it up at first. Sorry. Committing horrible atrocities. The site's creator, Frederick Brennan, says even he wants the site shut down. Boxy Man. was basically the prototype for the modern e-girl. She posted a few videos on YouTube all the way back in 2008 of her being quirky. My name is Boxy. Most of you know me as, um, uh, well, no, most of you know me as Boxy. Is this, is that shoe on head? Am I wrong about that? Who is that? I don't know. I suppose. So these videos made their way around 4chan. The community was- Is that the same thing? I don't know. Divided on her. Half of them hated her guts, the other half was simping whore. Boxy, being a 4chan user herself, saw all the attention she was getting on there and made a video directed at 4chan. This video pushed some of her haters over the edge. A small group of anonymous hackers got together and hacked her YouTube account, oh, privating no. all of her videos and threatening to dox her if she ever made another video. And the plan worked because she stopped uploading videos, at least for a few years. She returned in 2011 under the YouTube name A New Hope. 
It turns out Boxy was just a character being played by a woman named Katie Wayne. Behind the meme, oh. Zenzi. It looks like Shu. I always, I kind of always thought that was Shu on head. So, for context, behind the meme was a guy who made videos explaining memes. The videos themselves were pretty basic, surface-level explanations, and honestly, kind of cringe. Some of the popular variations being the classic shish kebab and donor kebab, which, if I'm pronouncing that right, sounds a whole lot like boner kebabs. <laughs> which really doesn't sound too appetizing. So yeah. Says you. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people on the internet hated this guy because he was making memes accessible to normies. But nobody hated him more than 4chan. One day, an anonymous user cooked up a scheme to try to get rid of BTM. The plan was simple. Every time he posted a video, they would comment with, Please make a video on Zenzi, with no other context. Zenzi being something completely made up. Every time he made a video not covering Zenzi, 4chan would dislike bomb the video. They were hoping that this would eventually frustrate him to the point of giving up YouTube altogether. Okay, but their plan backfired. When behind the meme found out about the scheme. Zinzi, Zinzi, Zinzi. It has been all over my comment sections in the last 24 hours. This Figured meme has out. seemingly popped up overnight. When you go search for Zinzi, a bunch of random videos and images come up. None of them seem to have anything in common though. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, that's right, because some people apparently don't like my channel and what I do. You see, Zinzi is an attempt to get me to make a video on a meme that makes no sense and really doesn't exist, so I look like a fool and lose credibility. Dang. Another certified hood classic. They got him. Why this is on level two? This this is basic level stuff, but whatever. Let's recap. Mountain Dew held an online poll. Jesus, my it's fucking like the wind is going crazy. To decide the name of their new flavor. If you know anything about 4chan, you know they love fu Bro, it's going nuts outside. Polls. And speaking of people who love fucking with polls, the name with the most votes was Hitler. Did oh. nothing wrong. Followed closely by Gushing Granny, Fapple, and Diabetes. Every copy of Super Mario 64 is personalized. So, 4chan's X board is known for some borderline remedial conspiracy theories, and this is probably one of the most remedial. This post reads, every copy of Super Mario 64 is personalized. Wow. Nintendo's experimental AI adapts and subtly creates a slightly altered version of the game tailored specifically for you. That would be interesting. Appealing to you. How would it be different? Subconsciously in ways that you don't even notice. Like what? Like the way that the difficulty operates? That'd be something. Um, as well as attempting to mess with you and study how you react. As the weather? It's a little crazy. React to it. Have you ever played someone else's copy of Mario 64? Have you ever felt like something was just a little bit off? That's why. That's how. He will not divide us. On the day of Donald Trump's inauguration in 2017, Shia LaBeouf set up a live stream that was- Nah, I don't have a, the merch store. Maybe I'll get one one day. Meant to be like a performance art piece or something. The live stream was supposed to be 24 hours a day and last four years until the end of Trump's press. I think I have one like set up like on some, whatever it's called, like shirt spring or something, Teespring, but I just, I don't have any link or anything. Maybe I'll take, maybe I'll take a look into that more. Maybe I'll set that up with my wife one day. We'll, we'll set up like a nice merch store thing. Presidency. The public was invited to deliver the words, he will not divide us into a camera mounted on a wall outside the Museum of Moving Image in New York, responding to those words in any way they wished. So basically the words, he will not divide us were written on a wall and there was a camera at the wall live streaming people's reactions. Why? Who the f knows, man? I don't know. But a lot of people were actually showing up to this thing, including galaxy brain Nepo baby, Jaden Smith. Whoa, Jaden Smith, the guy with the dad that hits people. Whoa, my favorite. When the good people on poll got word of this performance, they decided to do what they do best, a little troll. Oh, so poll troll. members started showing up to the live stream, trying to trigger Shia as much as possible. And eventually Shia gave into the trolling and Damn. punched somebody in the face. Hard not to, man. It's hard not to. Then he took another L when the museum that was hosting the live stream decided to shut the whole thing down because it was too much trouble. But Shia isn't one to give up easily. And so he face. decided he was going to set up the live stream at another location. So he went to the most godforsaken hellhole on the entire planet. New Jersey. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay. That one was shut down too because of violence in the area. So Shia decided instead he was just going to point the camera at a flag that had the words, he will not divide us written on it. But the fine men on 4chan were able to track down this flag and they replaced it with a MAGA flag. So Shia moved the flag face. to another location. The same thing happened. And this went on for like 17 more times before he finally gave it. Jesus Christ. Corian copy pasta. Okay, what? I think I can just read this one. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they Why? Why does that... Why? Why do we even... Why are we even talking about this? Why would you even say that? Are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals. Vaporeon are an average of 3 feet tall and 63 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human logs. And with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. WHERE THE FUCK ARE YOUR PARENTS?! Shoop de Whoop is a meme of cell from- Why? Why? 
Why would you need to talk about that? Why do you want to fuck a Pokemon, bro? Dragon Ball Z shooting a laser out of his mouth. I'm a in my lane Bane posting. Okay, this might be a little bit of a controversial opinion, but I think The Dark Knight Rises is the superior Christopher Nolan Batman movie, okay? People say Joker is a better villain than Bane, but I disagree, okay? I think those people are just NPCs, all right? They're just bots. They can't nice. think for themselves. That being said, I think we can all agree that the dialogue at the very beginning of the movie between Bane and Peter Baelish was a little bit awkward. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. People were obviously memeing. He's not that big, but he was pretty good. He was pretty good, uh, pretty well acted, so. On this clip hard, but things got turned up a notch when Tom Hardy, the actor who played Bane, announced that he was going to do an AMA on Reddit. So 4chan organized another classic raid on this AMA. A bunch of 4chan users flooded the AMA with questions about the scene and downvoted any questions that weren't related to it. Last night, I bond burgered your sister. Is referring to this meme that somebody posted on 4chan. I never understood that meme. Nobody really knows what the actual meaning is, but oh, it's still well. funny. L was the short-lived Lolicon board, which thankfully has been deleted. Okay. If you don't know what a Lolicon is, I suggest you don't Google it unless you want the FBI showing up at your house. The shopping... <laughs> Very true. Don't look that up, guys. It's weird. Core theory. This is actually an interesting... I don't really know what to call it. Like a thought experiment? An observation? A thought experiment? It sounds like... Um... Only fans or something. I, I just can't land the joke. It goes like this. The shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. To return the shopping cart is an easy, convenient task and one which we all recognize as the correct, appropriate thing to do. To return the shopping cart is objectively right. There are no situations okay. other than dire emergencies in which a person is not able to return their cart. Well, listen, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one reason to not return the shopping cart. Just hear me out, okay? Think about this. It gives somebody a job. Do you think about that? Probably not, silly goose. Simultaneously, it is not illegal to abandon your shopping cart. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right without being forced to do it. You know, come to think of it, my ex-wife never put her shopping carts back. Looking back, that should have been an obvious red flag. Saki Sanobashi is one of the most- My wife and I always put the cart back, all the time. Not because I'm a good person, but I'm afraid of cart narcs showing up and recording me. No, I'm just kidding. We just like to do it. It's just a nice thing to do. <laughs> Those famous pieces of lost anime media. And it was first mentioned. But sometimes, sometimes I'll just pop it up on the curb. Because you know what? Okay. It's not that big of a fucking deal. I, I, will t I usually take the carts that are popped up on the curb so I can put it back to the curb. Okay. It's okay. Most of the time I'll try to walk it back to the thing. But sometimes it's too chilly. On 4chan's export, it was described as some weird anime about naked girls stuck in a large bathroom without doors, having a philosophical what? debate about never getting out of the room. After losing hope and starving for some days, everything goes downhill, and they all whack themselves in gruesome ways. He also mentioned Damn, that I'd be whacking off if I was in a room full of girls and we're locked in there in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what they meant, is it? Uh, the name might be something along the lines of Go for a Punch. Another 4chan user said he remembers seeing something similar, but it was called Saki Sanobashi. After Mongoloid YouTube chat, Justin Wang made a video on the topic. Mongoloid. A Reddit user named Saki Sanobashi OP made a post claiming that the original 4chan post he made was all made up, fabricated Damn. because he was bored. But Damn. there's no way to verify if they're the same person, so people are- Oh wait, that was supposed to be a real story? Oh shit, I thought that was like an anime, sorry. Still holding out hope that this thing exists. Keck Rock, this is a mythical lost video game. Images of the box art appeared on the V board, which is the video game board, and got everyone's attention because it had Keck in the game. Vagina. There's no videos of gameplay or anything like that, but a bunch of people claimed that they played it back in the 90s, and it was unsurprisingly shit. It's like a shitty generic version of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh -huh. Dusty the Cat, on February 15th, 2009, two videos- I learned that Ron Swanson got addicted to Banjo-Kazooie, and so he stopped playing video games. Were posted by an account named Glenn Spam one oh, The videos were of a guy abusing his cat named Dusty. Like, now, there's two things you need to understand about 4chan. Number one, they love cats. And number True. two, they hate people who abuse cats. Anonymous nice. was able to track down the person running the account. Turns out it was some 14-year-old Schlemiel from Oklahoma named Kenny Glenn. And after 4chan contacted the local police and informed them about what was going on, Kenny was arrested. Duck rolling. Good. The duck roll was the predecessor to the Rick roll. Somebody posts a link to something, but you click it and it's a duck on wheels. Nice. Sarah Palin email. I like that one more. It's kind of cool. Little mallard. Mallard? Mallard. Yeah. Back. In 2008, an ancient fossil was discovered in Arizona. This Shh. fossil was approximately... Was it my grandmother? <laughs> ...7.2 million years old. Rest in peace, Granny. I love you. Its name was John McCain. And he was running for president in 2008. But apparently, he decided he really didn't want to win that bad, so he chose a Saturday Night Live character to be his running mate. Yep. Who, hey, you guys remember who's nailing Palin? It's a... It's a they, Pornhub did that. It's not bad. She's got some big titties. And, and by the way, I love all sizes of titties, okay? 
but she did have some big titties. Well, during the campaign, Sarah Palin had... I like nipples, too. I like, like, I like dark nipples. That's what I like. I like that. Okay. I don't really care about titties. I like nipples. You know what I mean? Had her email hacked by a 4chan user. By I also like them a little large, the areolas. You know, a couple of stretch marks there, too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know? By the name of Rubico. He said it only took him 15 seconds to figure out her password. It was her birthday. He yeah, also yeah, said yeah. that there was nothing incriminating, but... I can't... My, my wife's password is her birthday, too. I just never remember it. It's, that's what's how I don't remember it. <laughs> just kidding. He did find some feet pics, which he leaked to WikiFeet. He also nice. made a post on 4chan bragging about how he hacked her email and then leaked her password. But the idiot got caught because his 4chan account used his personal email address. And it turns out that the hacker was David Colonel, the son oh. of a Democratic politician. David Arquette. Tennessee. Also, tell me this mother sucker doesn't look like the gay love child of Jake Paul and Andrew Callahan. Anyways, David was sentenced to a year in the slammer, and Sarah Palin compared the situation to Watergate. Taylor Swift Horace Man. In 2012, famous annoying white woman Taylor Horace Swift Man. held a contest on Facebook to decide what school she would perform at. And of course, oh, yeah, Horace I remember banded this. together and manipulated the vote. The school with the number one most votes was Horace Mann School for the Deaf. Which makes sense because her music is <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> much better when you can't hear it. But unfortunately, Taylor ended up not going through with the concert. Damn. But she did donate twenty thousand dollars to the school, which is good on her. No fap is quite simply abstaining from touching your schlong. Listen, man, a lot of people these days are straight up addicted to porn. I knew a guy who whacked off at his desk at work. It is true. People are addicted to it. I've, I've had we've all had our struggles, I think. During his daily meeting every day. So NoFap is a community based around the idea that not whacking off is beneficial both mentally and physically. I don't think that the whacking off is the problem. It's the porn. It's a desensit the desensitization of porn. It's more like, you know, that's the bigger issue. You could jerk off. There's no problem. It's actually healthy for you and your prostate. It's just like, don't try not to look at anything like crazy. You know, maybe just use your imagination, which is hard for men because men are very physical beings. You know, try to get a girlfriend. Okay. Or a flashlight. Nothing wrong with that. Or a hyper-realistic $3,000 anime hentai titty bust with operating vagina and butthole and mouth. Okay. <laughs> if write down Christmas list, babe, if you're in the chat, write down Christmas list. Write down Christmas list. Okay. It got popular on Reddit. Start saving now. But before r slash nofap ever existed, people were doing a version of it on 4chan and other forums. Except it wasn't really about bettering yourself, they were just having a contest to see who could last the longest, a la Seinfeld. And eventually that evolved into the nofap movement of today. WT Snacks worked as a programmer for 4chan back in the early days, and he also served as a moderator for a short time. He got fired by Moot himself because he honestly kind of sucked at moderating, Dang. but a lot of people liked him and he was super influential on the site, so they were pissed to see him go. And they even made a petition to bring him back. Operation Pridefall. As most of you know, June is Gay Pride Month. And if you didn't know that, you probably hate gay people. Now, True. every year June rolls around, every company changes their logo to a pride flag and becomes super gay for the month. True. A lot of people on 4chan found this annoying and they also didn't like the gay people. So, <laughs> okay. so in June of 2020, they organized a raid called Operation Pride Fall. Every June, hundreds of massive corporations band together to smother social media with posts in favor of Pride Month. A code word for the degeneracy that is LGBT activism. Degeneracy. Many of these accounts are rather small and get very little. It's a sin to be prideful. You shouldn't have pride in yourself. It's one of the seven deadly sins. Engagement. True. Yet they continue to post without back. So are fat women on the front of Sports Illustrated magazine. <laughs> Clash. Beginning June 1st, the goal of Operation Pride Falls is to get on Twitter, Instagram, ETC, and drop a shit ton of disturbing red pills. Would you drink after a gay man? What the fuck does that mean? What? On homosexuality, on the comments of these lesser known pages. The bigger pages are okay targets, but posts tend to get unnoticed in the sea of comments. So yeah, they spammed basically every company with anti-gay stuff, but from what I can tell, not much came of it. Alien hoax. This is referring to an image which was posted to X, which was supposedly taken at Luke Air Force Base in Arizona, and it's supposedly okay. of an alien. Now, that's not the weird part, though. Alien? Was it like a fucking Mexican guy? Like what? The weird part is that immediately after getting posted, 4chan servers went down. Now, obviously, that can't just be a coincidence. It must have been a reptilian conspiracy theory to cover up the truth. The photo also spawned a lot of memes, and people posted their version of the original photo. Lee Goldson, aka Barney Fag, aka <laughs> the Mark Zuckerberg one was funny. Cheese Boy is a man who really hates Barney. This man hates Barney almost Why? as much as I hate Franklin the Turtle, which I didn't even think was possible. Like he wrote a whole ass manifesto about how much he hates Barney. <laughs> I've written this paper to describe some. How do you have that much hatred for the guy? 
Wait, how did I get this? What the fuck? And terrifying experiences throughout my life. More specifically, regarding a certain purple dinosaur that ended up getting too much screenplay during my time in school. Who cares? That show is Barney and Friends. I hate this show with all my heart. Nothing Man. can deter me from hate of this show. His autistic fixation with Barney gained him a reputation of okay. being a bit of a low cow. According to the Soyjack wiki, which is a real thing, Lee spends upwards of 18 hours a day patrolling various boards on 4chan, searching for posts that contain My Little Pony and Barney imagery in an attempt There's to- There's no way he actually does this. <laughs> ...to eradicate things that he deems childish oh from the site and fight back against the people who he believes are targeting him with said imagery. By the way, when I say autistic fixation, I'm not saying that to poke fun at autistic people. That's literally what this is, so don't- I am. That's what I'm saying. Be my comments calling me an ableist. Because I have Asperger's myself, okay? So, fuck. Oh. Self-diagnosed, but still. True. We talked about this last time we ch chatted. He's like, I think I have, I think I have, uh, I think I have Asperger's. Oh. And I told him it was autism spectrum disorder now. Obama said made it that way to make it easier to get covered on it. And then, uh, then Gunner TV was there, too. And uh, we played a game. It was interesting. Yaranaika. So, there's this manga called Kuso Miso Tech. Not bad. Which in English translates to shit soup technique wow. it's about two guys stooping each other in one okay. scene a dude is walking through the park when he sees another man wearing a jumpsuit on a park bench okay the man unzips his jumpsuit and pulls out a schlong and says yaranaika which means shall we do it they then proceed to anally probe each other in the shower and make some funny faces and okay. the faces they made in these scenes turn into memes of their own you've probably seen these somewhere and didn't know the origin i had no idea that that was what that's from okay god bless well there you go. Justin Bieber, North Korea. Justin Bieber has had a crazy character arc over the years. He went uh, from being one of the most hated people in America to being slightly less hated. But nobody hated JB more than the fine men on 4chan. So whenever they got the opportunity to troll him a little bit, they didn't let it go to point. Fine men on 4chan? What are they, Jewish? <laughs> Ah, that's a good one. Wait, that's fun. One of the best trolling campaigns against Bieber was Operation North Korea is Best Korea. In 2010, a voting page was launched on Justin's website where people could vote for what country he would perform on during his world tour. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Would they have him go to Iraq or something? At the number one spot was the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Incredible. But unfortunately, Bieber didn't end up going. Damn. Some sad shit. Xenophobic. 4chan City is a 4chan themed cartoon made by YouTuber NCHP Productions. The description of this video says it's an old and what silly animation I stupidly did for 4chan back when I was doing drugs or something. I regret everything. Creepy Chan refers to model Allison Harvard who posted some creepy photos of herself on MySpace that That's creepy. ended up on 4chan. Wow. Her appearance was straight out of a shitty horror movie which led people to give her the nickname Creepy Chan. Cracky Chan, similar to Creepy uh, Chan. I thought it was going to be similar to Jackie Chan, but okay. Sorry. We have Cracky Chan. In 2005, she posted some photos of herself wearing cat ears with the words Sub 4chan written on her palm. Uh, cool. And people were simping for her hard. She was Ford. being discussed so much that one of the mods had to filter out the word cracky. And the obsession with her Man. often went too far. People what made entire like websites there? dedicated to her, and she was being harassed online. Jesus and people guy. even called her place of work asking for her. Cracky pretty much completely withdrew from the internet after this wave of attention, but weirdos to this day this are do? still trying to find her. Pokemon yeah, Clover is a ROM hack developed by 4chan's VP board, which is dedicated to Pokemon. It fuck? started out as a shittier version of Pokemon Fire Red, but eventually it evolved into an actually You know what's interesting? There's like a weird, like, um... There's like this weird, um, I guess you say sexual version of Pokemon. It's a ROM hack. Okay. And the other day, a while ago, actually, I was inside of a mall and I saw that they, somebody had taken the emulation, put it on a cartridge with a photo and then sold it to a used video game store. Um... So it'll be really interesting if some kid stumbles upon that and has their mom buy it for him. Good game. They added new locations, a new story, music characters, even new original Pokemon, all with a 4chan theme. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I might have to give it a try when I'm not busy having copious amounts of sex with your mother. J. Oh. J. Grant, September 18th to You couldn't handle my mother. 2006, this was posted on 4chan. On Sunday, there will be seven dirty explosives detonated in seven U.S. cities. The death toll will approach 100,000 from what the, the fuck? West, and countless other fatalities will later occur as a result from radioactive fallout. The bombs Jesus. themselves will be delivered via trucks. These trucks will pull up to stadiums hosting NFL games. The did this happen? 22nd of October will mark the final day of Ramadan as it would fall in Mecca. Osama bin Laden will then issue a video message claiming responsibility for what he dubs America's Hiroshima. In the aftermath, civil wars will erupt across the world, both in the Middle East and within the United States. Now, obviously, the FBI is patrolling 4chan 24-7, and they took this threat seriously. It didn't take long to track down the person responsible for this post, and it turned out to be 
some schlemiel named Jake from fucking Wisconsin. So Damn. Jake got Jake's fucking shit up. Since the six months in prison for his little prank, Not and good. everybody on 4chan learned a valuable lesson. And that's, if you fuck around, inevitably, at some point, you're going to find out. Yeah, if you fuck around. Yep, absolutely. B-Day was basically a 4chan civil war. Now, as you What's all that, know, 4chan birthday? is really fond of doing raids, but... In oh, the like uh, B, like the random board day. Okay, took me a second. I'm old. 2006, it was getting a little bit out of hand. There was a new 4chan raid going on like every week. So Moot himself had to step in and issue a statement that mods would be enforcing stricter regulation on raids oh, and also on jailbait, which was pervasive in B. This caused an absolute uproar. It was speculated by a lot of people that the reason for this sudden crackdown is that the Anons had recently started going hard at furries. And apparently, some high profile. <laughs> Wait, high profile 4chan furry? 4chan mods happen to be furries. Oh, shit. Either way. Whoa! Furry 4chan mods? Fucking friendly fire, guys. Holy moly. Half of the B population declared war on the other half <laughs> because they saw these new rules as going against everything 4chan stood for. So there was a mass exodus of people from 4chan to 7chan where Damn. they started plotting against their former home. So many chance. A guy by the name of Captain Cornflake even wrote a declaration of B dependence. They have plundered our posts and deprived us of our jailbait. They have forced upon us their twisted ideology of- Isn't jailbait like, is, is jailbait legal, but they look like they could put you in jail? What is jailbait? I don't even want to look it up, honestly. It's not even, <laughs> I don't even want that on my computer. <laughs> I thought jailbait was like legal, but like looks not- Legal? Is that what that is? I, uh, whatever. I don't know. I'm not looking it up. Furry fandom. They have weird. deprived us <laughs> of our ability to fight our enemies, forcing us to submit to the wishes of the fur. We are anonymous. We are B. Our home is no longer on 4chan. In these times of unrest, we have formed the state of 7chan.org as our new sovereign nation on the worldwide internet. Signed, Anonymous. But that was not the end. Not too long after making the transition to 7chan, they immediately started flooding B with that script. So much so that 4chan servers got overwhelmed and the entire website went down. The yeah. B-Tars on 4chan followed suit and tried to do the same to 7chan, but they failed. Yeah, After a few days, 4chan came back and 7chan tried to attack again, but their second raid attempt failed. Eventually, the two sides were able to somewhat reconcile after many years, but the veterans of this war still have flashbacks to this day. Wow. Many of them have never adjusted back to regular life. War never changes. Hypergate. Until 2021, there were a couple of YouTube channels. Also. Piper Barnes, Piper Rocks, and Isabel Piper. These channels featured a young girl named Piper who would make these weird edits with sexual undertones. One could simply look at the outro that she had adopted not long after starting her uploads. Wait, who is that sound? Who's that? Nick Crowley. Oh, it sounded familiar. We just we just watched one of those. I got scared. It's something that I'm choosing not to show you, and something that I don't suggest you seek out either, as essentially it's a revealing upward shot of a young girl wearing a small skirt. And it gets much more disturbing. Sounds like Japanese porn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Japanese people. Okay. Commenters would say things like, I love you. What's your Snapchat? LOL, you did it. You need some more booty shaking, but it It's like normal now for fucking when you have seen people on OnlyFans or on TikTok doing OnlyFans shit's weird. It was still good. And Estoy Enamorado contacting Monos. Bro, I don't know what's more disturbing. The comments themselves or Nick's pronunciation of them. So a group of 4chan users did a huge investigation into this channel and wrote an entire report on the top. In the report, it was revealed that there was a pedal ring behind these videos. The ringleader was a man named William yeah. G. Whitaker, a 65-year-old convicted sex offender from Florida. Jesus. The really f***ed up thing is that this guy owned a child modeling agency called Wizard Productions where quote, parents would take their kids to be filmed, typically dancing or singing, with the hopes that their kids would become famous, showing off their various talents. I mean, the second you said child modeling, I was already sussed out. Now, keep in mind that this putz was already a convicted predator, so the whole agency was unlicensed and illegal, so the police shut it down. But for some reason, he didn't go to jail for this. And it's believed that the footage of the girls that he captured during his time in the modeling agency were used in his YouTube videos. The good news is, though, William won't be targeting any girls anymore, because he dead. John Lennon, the absolute uh -huh. madman who's I guess life always, uh, life always, uh, you know, equalizes, I see, I suppose. For a <clears throat> photo of John Lennon, looking like an absolute madman. Mangum sure. game. On the music board, a user named Eddie posted a photo of Jeff Mangum from his high school yearbook. To be honest, I, I don't really know anything about music because I only listen to Mongolian throat singing. Bro. But if you're like me and have no clue who this guy is, he's the lead singer for the band Neutral Milk Hotel, which I guess is okay. popular on Mew. Anyways, as I was saying, some- Neutral mil Milk? 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 Hotel? Okay. Interesting. But he posted a photo of him from his high school yearbook. And later on, another person posted a photo of somebody named Caroline Mando. Who I'm huh? assuming is his sister, because that can't be a common last name. Maybe. Now, is there anything familiar about this girl to you guys? No, not at Does all. Does she look like someone to you? No. Let me help you out. Here's a picture of Anne Frank. Wow. Anne of Ar Franklin. That's crazy. Next to Caroline Mango. You see? They, I don't they look the same? I don't know. know. 
And then it gets even crazier when you see Jeff's wife, Astra. There's only one explanation. Jeff traveled back in time, brought Anne Frank with him to the future where she poses his sister and then married her. What a theory. Either that or they just look slightly similar. Now, I'm pretty sure nobody actually believes this, but then again, people believe some crazy shit, all right? There's people who actually believe that it's okay not to be subbed to Dantavius. Death That's Metal. true. Pachinko is an obscure British indie rock band from the late 90s. They were basically a group of friends from high school who started a band in their garage in England. They never saw much success and <laughs> broke up in 2001 after only four years. But in 2016, somebody discovered one of their demo tapes in a shit bin at some dirty charity store in Nottingham, England. The guy then posted the tape to 4chan and people actually enjoyed it a lot. They started getting a cult following. After 20 years, the band had enough of a fan base that they started touring around the world, which just goes to show that you should never give up because it might take two years, it might take 20 years, but eventually you'll get a break. Thank you, Dan Tavis. I needed that. I will be I will be a popular content creator. Thank you so much. Taylor Swift is a 4chan user. Now, we've talked a lot of crazy conspiracies. I think I've heard this one from Dan Tavis before, but you know, there's obviously going to be overlap. So. so far, but this one might just take the cake as the most batshit insane theory I've ever stumbled upon. There are rumors swirling around the nether that Taylor Swift is an avid 4chan user. Now, on the surface, this makes no sense because she's been the target of 4chan's trolling multiple times and generally isn't very well liked in that neck of the woods. But let's see the evidence. I'm not surprised. First, there's this post of a woman from the nose down with the caption, Hi B, I'm feeling down. Please make me smile. The girl looks suspiciously similar to Taylor Swift. Also, the walls in the background of this image appear in another photo of Taylor Swift that she posted to her own Instagram. <laughs> Maybe somebody edited it to make it look like that or something. I have no idea. Maybe. There's no way she would expose herself like that. Maybe she would. I don't know. Maybe she's... You think that she did that just for like, like some online notoriety or something? I mean, that would be genius. Then there's never say anything again. This image Taylor Swift posted to Instagram with the caption, nothing quite like a freezing cold wintry beach. The very same day this post was made to 4chan, somebody looked at the metadata of this image and it turns out it was taking the same day that Taylor posted her photo. And probably the most convincing piece of evidence is that somebody posted a picture of their cat and said, one random person will get to name it. The person who was selected chose the name Meredith. Okay. And Taylor has a cat that looks just like the cat from the post. And you know what its name is? Jimbo. Meredith. Man, if it turns out Taylor Swift really is a B-tard, her career is officially over. Battletoads is a classic 4 champ. Then I guess Kanye was right. Maybe Kanye made her do it. Maybe she became racist after Kanye ran on uh, stage and interrupted her. You never know, guys. Okay. You never prank know. Where people would call into GameStop and ask if they could pre-order Battletoads. Eventually, GameStop employees Good. were getting so many calls that this gave them PTSD. Like, this was Vietnam and 9-11. What they should have said is like, yeah, sure. Like, uh, let me get your credit card information. And then they would have been like, oh, okay. They would have just felt stupid and probably hung up. Combined if you worked at GameStop in the mid-2000s. My <laughs> son went down there and looked for a game called Battletoads, and you didn't have it, and I'm wondering why you're shooting the whoop for him. I'm going to take this Battletoads and shove it so far up your f***ing ass, buddy. I don't have time <laughs> for this f***ing bull. I, I don't blame this person at all. Floor tile fetish. When it comes to fetishes, I've heard them all. I once knew a guy that was aroused at the thought of beating up turtles. <coughs> but here's a fetish I bet you've never heard of okay. before. <laughs> floor tiles. Yes, you heard me right. I said floor tiles like is it the t is it the look of them or the texture of them like what is it the sensation of rubbing your hard cock against it like what is it guys september 1st 2013 op asked for game suggestions to get his mind off a recent traumatic experience you see his sister had just come home and noticed that there was a puddle of man milk on the kitchen floor Incredible. when he was pressed on why his nut was splattered all over the tile he simply said he had a fetish he didn't care to mention but eventually well, he relented why didn't you clean it up what the fuck? and spills the beans op was attracted to floor tiles are you sure that that's true or is this guy if this was was this just an elaborate like ruse and a, a coat to try to fuck his sister. Maybe he was, thought she was going to come home, see his cum on the floor and go, what is that? What a big load. Oh my God. Let's not tell mom and dad. But she, he was too nervous and embarrassed to do that. So instead he's like, oh, I have a floor tile fetish. Well, what makes more sense to you? What I'm saying or what they're saying? Let's be fucking real. He even showed his directory of different types of floor tiles that he whacks off to. He what? probably made that whole thing as a cope. Well, floor tile guy, congratulations. You officially win my Degenerate of the Day award. Actually, I should probably save that until the end of the video. I'm sure something more screwed up will show up later. In 2009, Time Magazine held their yearly poll to decide who would be on their top 100 most influential people of the year. Or maybe that guy was just lying to make up a silly story. So, of course, 4chan manipulated the results and got Moot to the number one most influential person. Wow. And if that wasn't enough... Well, I guess he really is. If they, I mean, people showed up to change the thing. They also picked the rest of the list, too, which they arranged in a way so that the first letter of their names would spell out the words Marble Cake and also the game. Based. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta explain what all that means. So, Marble Cake is a sexual act 
which I won't mention because I'm a gentleman. It's also the name of the chat room where supposedly... Pro I was just thinking of Entomans. Project Channelogy originated. And the game is a game where the object wow. of the game is to not think about the game. So uh, by me mentioning yeah, the game, yeah, yeah, all yeah. of you have lost the game. God damn, dude, this is like a blast from the past. If you didn't grow up playing the game, then consider yourself lucky because it was- We did punch buggy, no punch back, safety license. Me, 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 me. Remember that? Remember when those buggies existed? What a cultural phenomenon. Phenomenon. Not anymore though. The most annoying shit ever back in the day. No joke, I had a friend who I stopped talking to because he would say, I lost the game every five minutes. 4chan ISP yeah. ban. So a few years back, there was a shooting in New Zealand, which was live streamed and uh, widely shared this, on 4chan. Yeah. The perpetrator was a big 4chan enjoyer. And a lot of internet service providers in Australia and New Zealand straight up banned 4chan because of this. And 8chan and a bunch of other websites. Probably I don't know smart. if that's still the case, but it was for a while. Oxychan. Bianca Devins was your average teenager who spent a lot of time on the internet. In her free time, she ran a Discord server with people she met on 4chan oh, no. and went by she her online handle, Oxychan. On July 14th, 2019, Bianca had her life taken away from Damn. her by a man named Brandon Andrew Clark. That's Clark horrible. posted photos of Bianca's body on Instagram and Discord after he did what he did. What the fuck? The two had met on Instagram sometime in April of 2019, and they became friends. It's not clear if the two were in a romantic relationship, but they did start hanging out in real life after about two months of talking on the internet. On July 13th, Bianca and Brandon went to a concert in New York City, and Bianca's friend Alex, who she also met on Discord, came with them. Apparently, at some point, Bianca and Alex kissed, and Brandon was not happy about it. So that night, in a fit of jealousy, he sliced Bianca's throat and posted the photos all over the internet. Jesus Christ, man, what the fuck? And the photos spread on social media and 4chan like wildfire. It was so bad that they actually had to pass laws to prevent things like this from happening in the future. Would they pass? Furries. Possibly the most- Should pass laws against furries. Most hated minority <laughs> group of all time, right above True. Jews and right under Raiders fans. Moon created a fur board in 2005, okay. made specifically for furries. But impossibly, one of the most based acts in human history, he banned all of them and closed the board the next day. <laughs> FBI party van. Now, as I briefly mentioned... <laughs> That's actually very funny. He got them to self-report and then just banned everybody that used it. And earlier, it's pretty clear to most people that the FBI monitors 4chan, since a lot of wild stuff goes down there. So the term FBI party van comes from the idea... Uh, that if you say something out of pocket on there, the FBI is going to pull up your IP and take you away in a party van. Mad Max Ogre is referring to this post where some dude is holding up a copy of Mad Max Fury Road with the caption, Aw oh, yeah, just got back from Coco to get a copy of Fury Road. Anyone else picked it up? Now, at first glance, this seems like a perfectly normal post. But upon a closer inspection, this dude has a Shrek hand. Shrek straight up left the swamp and walked his ass to Costco and picked up a copy of Mad Max Fury Road on Blu-ray. I mean, listen, if I lived in a swamp, I would consistently go to costco it is the fucking best place to go okay let's be real here guys let's not let's not diss the old costco okay let's not disc the old costco spongebob is a grotesque hideously deformed version of the beloved children's cartoon character spongebob squarepants the exact origin of Spongebob is unknown, but the only thing I know for sure is that it'll haunt my dreams forever. True. Toilet Mushrooms is referring to a guy who found a startling discovery in his toilet. And no, Oop. it wasn't a rare purple dookie. It was mushrooms. Mushrooms growing out of his toilet. Hey, listen. You have to eat them. Eat them. And it didn't take much to convince this guy to eat those toilet shrooms. So either he's dead or has superpowers. And remember... The next time you go to a restaurant and order a mushroom dish, okay. it might have come out of a toilet. A few Maybe. months ago, I invited a neat boy to come and live with me. What is a neat boy? I'm also a neat, but my parents are rich, and I was able to Fuck offer him anything neat. he wanted. But in return, he had to live with me and take female hormone injections, as well oh as take care God. of himself and dress in cute clothes. As of now, he's pretty happy. I buy him lots of things, and oh hormone treatment God. is going good. As you can see, his skin is becoming very soft, and he's gaining weight in all the right oh places. My God. And then he posted a picture of the dude, butt-ass naked, in some kind of prison under his bed. Rachel Weisner versus... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? 4chan. In 2010, a girl named Rachel Weisner offered a trade to the people of 4chan. If they bought her a pizza, she would post a picture of her bare breasts. 4chan kept up their end of the bargain and sent her the complimentary pizza. But Rachel didn't honor her end of the deal. You can't do that. You can't be doing that, dude. You have to honor that. Instead, she posted this photo mocking 4chan. Oh, you can't do it. Then she bragged it. about her epic troll on Facebook. Oh, you can't do it. Rachel was about to it. learn a hard lesson. You don't mess with sexually repressed basement dwellers. You can't do it, dude. You made the you made the promise. Get away with it. It only took a few days, but people were able to find her, her real name, address, school, parents, even her boyfriend. And they posted it all on 4chan <laughs> for the world to see. I wonder if it was worth the free pizza. Anon finds a grenade. This is an iconic green text story. Guy makes a post saying, look what I found in the forest today. Is it dangerous? He then obviously gets goaded into pulling the pin of the grenade, which eventually he gives in and pulls it. As you fuckers suggested, I tried pulling the pin, but basically the whole top broke off. I left it there for a few minutes, but nothing happened. What do next? Then Damn. he... <laughs> 
and put it in the microwave. Oh OP here, sorry god. it took so long. I tried burning it several minutes. Nothing happened for fuck's sake. A couple minutes later, oh my god. There he was running it over with his car, and that was the last anybody ever heard of this guy. Jesus Christ, dude. R.I.P. You think that's real, or do you think that was somebody who was trying to do like a funny little prank so they did that? Um, <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, we'll end it after I run it over, you know? The Ohio fetish. What uh, is the most shameful thing you've ever done that's related? Man, that's like a big, uh, the Ohio thing is a big meme on TikTok. I wonder if it's related. The video games. I have a fetish for the state of Ohio, and I regularly practice it on Minecraft as a form of one-sided erotic roleplay. After much convincing, the Anon finally relented and decided to explain what exactly it was about Ohio that made his people. What is Ohio? He posts this really long green text, which I'll summarize. Basically, the guy was really into geography, hiking, exploring landscapes, things of that nature. He especially was interested in the Ohio River Valley Long Hunters, who were like the best land surveyors in history. One day, a guy huh? who wrote a book on the Long Hunters came into town for a book signing, so Anon goes and the author invited him on a hike with them and a bunch of other Long Hunter fanatics. So Anon agrees, and on the hike, all the members start doing drugs. Nice. While he's high out of his nice. mind, the author of the book starts explaining in detail how the Ohio River Valley was created and does a deep dive into the geography. While that was going on, the author guy was also touching his pee-pee. At the end of the story, Anon has okay. a pleasure bomb all over the floor, and the author says pleasure to him, bomb. I know you may not understand, but becoming a long hunter is a long process that requires a deep spiritual connection to the woods. I hope I've helped you out. The woods, get it? Your penis. My wood. And now he has an Ohio fetish. Man, I, I don't know what's more disturbing. The fact that the guy basically got assaulted, or the fact that it happened Man. in Ohio. Has anyone really been far even Jesus as decided Christ. to use Go What To Do Look More Like? A link to a YouTube video featuring gameplay of a Wii game called The Conduit was posted on 4chan, and the first comment on it was, Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even Go What To Do Look More Like? That's like most of the people who disagree with me in my comments. That's the level of uh, intelligibility, would you say that? Uh, in my comment section when people disagree with me. They just can't construct like a reasonable sentence. It's incredible to be honest with you. What does this mean? Was OP having a seizure or was this code for something? Seizure. Nobody knows. Zero hour is defined as the time which a planned operation, typically a military one, is set to begin. Holtards have been predicting what's called the zero hour for years, which is the moment in which the new world order will finally initiate their plan of wow. global domination. Agile 20. You mean like Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash and all them? Scott Steiner? Is it Scott Steiner or am I thinking of somebody else? Who am I thinking of? 2013 raid. Randy Orton. Wait. Nanon you tell me. Tell me. One day. Ramon, Razor Ramon. Posted a call to action. Hello, B. I come to you in a time of great need. I'm bored as fuck at a work-related conference, Agile 2013, in Nashville, and I'm ready to off myself. They have one object that could definitely pass the time and ruin the entire conference and spread lulls. Five giant screens that post tweets under the tag, hashtag Agile 2013. Oh, no. The tweets fly by five of these massive screens as conference attendees contribute bullshit messages. Ridiculous avatars, gore, and trap imagery would be much appreciated. Oh, no, that's just terrible. Please smile. Please. Scott Steiner? Am I thinking of Scott Steiner? Who am I thinking of? Is it Nando sure? became a hey, member. Hey, thanks for the small guy. Appreciate it. Pretty please. And it didn't take long for OP's wish to come Scott true. Steiner? Suddenly, the bullshit corporate messages began getting drowned out by stuff like this. Fuck my ass. There's a guy having sex <laughs> with a dead person in the toilets? Tongue no, punching fire boxes for 30 Oh, Scott Steiner is part of it, but who was Razor Ramon? Um, Scott Hall. That's who I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what. Okay. I think Steiner was part of them, though, maybe dollars an hour concerning teamwork asians should be ignored as they are only good for making electronics for cheap oh you get the idea Agile 2013 <laughs> that's so fucked up oh my god tried as hard as they could to get this under control and things only got worse you see the agile 2013 website had a live twitter feed which would display all the latest images with the hashtag agile 2013 oh my so Lord. photos of people enjoying themselves at the conference were replaced with gay porn and caca for <laughs> hey same thing right chan had done it again and OP had the greatest conference experience of all time. So Sam Hyde is a YouTuber slash comedian True. that's popular on 4chan. Every time there's a mass scooting or terrorist attack in the US, these photos start circulating of Sam Hyde that trick people into thinking that he was the perpetrator. Yeah. Bolsonaro. Can't keep getting away with it, dude. Pro hack. June 3rd, 2020, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro opened up his Wells Fargo app and started looking through his transactions as he does every day. Yeah. $80 for Fogo the Child, $1,200 for hookers, $5,000 for student loans, wow. $70,000 on Steam games. Wait, what? That can't be right. So he calls his credit card company to complain. Turns out his credit card had been charged for hundreds of thousands of dollars that he had no idea about. Now, he Damn. had been in this situation a few times in the past. Too much booze and coke will do that to a man. How does that happen? How does he constantly get into the situation where people steal his shit? But that wasn't the case this time. You see, some random schmuck on 4chan figured out his credit card information and leaked it along with his address and other personal data. 30-year-old virgin wizard. This is the nice. idea that if somebody reaches yes. the age of 30 without having relations... Then yes, it's true. They turn into wizards. I, I personally, I wasn't able to make it. I can't just wink, fuck. You know? Um, 
But you can if you try hard enough, guys. Now generate superpowers, which on the Let's surface sounds ridiculous. But then again, Isaac Newton and Nikola Tesla, two of the smartest men of history. Nikola Tesla. Famously never stooped, so... Coca Nicola, am I right? There might be something to this. This post is art. In the age of NFTs, it's no longer surprising to anyone that a useless image can sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think one anon on 4chan summed it up best. Art used to be something to cherish. Now anything can be art. This post is art. And he was right because a framed copy of this post sold on eBay for ninety thousand dollars back in twenty fourteen. Wow, that's incredible. Um, Speaking of eBay, we got the Beyblade eBay. Silent or super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Hey, I'm watching a stream with my very gay boyfriend. We love your content. Not joking, we are actually gay. Hey, you know what? There's, there's, kiss each other on the lips for me, okay? Kiss each other on the lips for me. Ah, eBay. The only place where you can buy something and only get an empty box in return. True. eBay is notorious for a bunch of stupid shenanigans and tomfoolery. Take this auction, for instance. Selling eight Beyblades to replace a destroyed bathtub, accompanied by a photo of two kids. What? How much did you get for the Beyblades? Wow, $999,000. Who look really sad. We are selling eight Beyblades. Two of them will light up. As you can tell, they are not happy about this. They have been using the bathtub as a battle arena. And Beyblades plus bathtub equals destruction. With the metal ones, they That's awesome. managed to scrape the enamel off the tub, take a chunk of the tub out, and break off the soap holder. So, if you win this auction, don't play with the bathtub. We have received the quote of five. Hey, you got to get them a battle arena, okay? This way they can actually compete because part of the Beyblade meta is the the battle arena, okay? It's the way that the Beyblades interact with the arena. I mean, how else are you going to get the balanced experience of, of well, balancing endurance versus power versus speed Beyblades? You have to make sure you get them the plastic battle arena, you silly goose. If anybody's fault, it's yours. What are you doing, okay? Now, I don't know that much about Beyblades. But I know something. Five hundred dollars to Booker, replace the know. some tiles and the soap holder, plus labor, of course. They had approximately one hundred twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents in the piggy banks that will be going towards the cost. We will use Jesus. the profit from this auction towards the balance, and then it is on to other toys. I feel so bad. How much did they spend on the thing? Good luck bidding. PayPal only. Once the photo of the two kids made its way to 4chan, people immediately started photoshopping it in funny ways. Damn, that kid's got a lot of fucking. Uh, nosh, whatever they call it, I don't know. But it didn't stop there. A lot of people on B weren't too fond of this mother's attempt at public humiliation. So they sprang into action and immediately started putting in a bunch of fake bids for Beyblades. Damn. Eventually running the price up to a million dollars. Oh my god. The mother herself put out a what do you just retract the bid? Statement saying, I wanted to let you know that eBay took the listing down because of all the fake bids. We do have the option to relist. It did not violate any eBay codes. But we are undecided if we will. We received several hundred emails in the last few hours that we had the listing up. Most of the emails were not very nice and not sure if we're willing to deal with that again. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, hey, listen, you know, I understand being upset, but, you know, I think that there's a conversation to be had about, you know, publicly humiliating your kid on, on social media that might not be too good you know, for the outcome of the child. And the messages might not have been very nice, but neither is the silent Joe the kiss humiliation on the Internet. I mean, come on, they we're just doing kids stuff. You should have just taken care of it the old-fashioned way and beat them with a wooden spoon like my mom did to me. True. And look how good my I... My mom would beat me with the back of a phone, a plastic, hard plastic phone. You know, it is what it is. That the good old, the good old days. Turned out, you dumb broad. Scooby 1961. These days, YouTube is infested with fitness channels shilling supplements and pretending to not be on stage. But back in the early... Being shil shilling. I haven't said that in a while. Like three days. Wow, that's a while to me. Early days of YouTube, the most popular YouTuber in the genre was a guy by the name of Scooby 1961. Scooby oh, was also a regular poster on 4chan's Fitboard, where he was pretty popular, but not everybody liked him. In fact, a small group of people disliked him so much that they posted his name and address. Damn. Following this, Scooby posted what he said would be his last video due to the real life harassment he was dealing with. Some recent very disturbing events require that some changes be made for the safety of my family, including relocation and uh, setting down social media. Most people on 4chan and pretty much every other fitness message board on the internet denounced the doxer and tried to convince Scooby not to give up. And luckily, he didn't. In fact, he's still That's posting nice. to this very day. Absolute Chad. 4chan based dancing man. One of the biggest pastimes on 4chan is making fun of fat people. True. <laughs> hey, listen. If you, you know, if you can't beat them, eat them. On February 13th, 2015, somebody posted a photo of an absolute unit dancing in the club. And another... I remember this guy. He was just having fun and they made fun of him photo of him looking all sad with the caption spotted this specimen trying to dance the other week he stopped when he saw us laughing bro he's dancing he's having a good time he's 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 exercising and you're gonna shame this man he's exercising dude it's true dance is exercise 
Okay, this guy's having fun. And now, I mean, all jokes aside, like you know, trolling a fat person like this—they're out, they're having fun. It's hard enough to go into a public place, being especially like being that overweight. You know, he's gonna have some body image issues. And he's out there and he's dancing. And if he gets into dancing, that could be a weekly dancing routine that this guy could slowly lose weight, build confidence, find a person to be with, engage in self-love, get healthier. And you're just going to bully the fuck out of him because LOL fat? I'm talking about people, bro. People don't give a fuck. They just like to make fun of fat people and feel justified. When that post started spilling outside of 4chan, people were appalled at how mean-spirited it was. Journalist Cassandra Fairbanks decided to find the man and do something nice for him. He was eventually identified as London's very own Sean O'Brien. Yep, I know that guy. Tell me why I knew this dude was British from the very first second I laid eyes on him. I don't, hey, I don't you know can tell. Anyways, Cassandra held a fundraiser for our boy Sean and threw him a big party in LA with special guests Moby and Monica Lewinsky. That's Whoa! Hey, call me Mr. President, am I right? <laughs> kind of random. While he was in LA, he even threw the first pitch at the Dodgers game. So nice. all in all, dude had a good time. I'm happy for the bloke. 4chan Block 8 Raid. Block 8 is a Roblox game where players can create their own world. It's kind of like Minecraft, but in Roblox. Anyways, for some unspecified reason, on May 6, 2020, 4chan decided to make the game their next target for a raid. That afternoon, somebody logged into Block 8 and started spamming strong language and racist stuff. Oh, no. Typical of 4chan. But hey, at least the language wasn't weak, am I right? Am I right? Fuchs, the creator of Block 8, caught wind of it and quickly privated the server before any real damage was done. But I guess the whole situation left him traumatized because he quit Roblox altogether. Person injects glowing substance in his veins. I mean, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, Dude just injected straight up a mana potion. There's no way that this is real. Holy fuck, if that's real, that's horrible. Into his vein. He was probably casting fireballs in his bedroom after this shit. We make cool crystals and post results. Okay, so this is easy. You should have all these chemicals you need around the house. First, you'll need five pennies and a straw. Get a clear jar, scoop two tablespoons of salt into it, and one tablespoon of baking soda. Now- And come, but come in it too. Now, you need ammonia. Pour it in the jar until it's two thirds of the way full. Then fill the rest of the jar with bleach. Now, drop the pennies into the bottom and quickly take the straw and blow bubbles into the pennies. You should begin to see stringy crystals form after about 30 Wait, didn't this make people sick or something? Because it's like the gas? Seconds of blowing. I'm gonna teach you guys something very important. Ammonia plus bleach equals mustard gas, okay? If you mix these things together, you will probably die. Anthony Fantano shooting. On October 1st, 2015, Chris Mercer went through his community college in Oregon and ended the lives of eight people. Damn. Before the attack, Mercer made a post on 4chan. Some of you guys are all right. Don't go to school tomorrow if you're in the Northwest. Oh no, did they say he did it? Jesus Christ. A happening Christ. thread will be posted tomorrow morning. So long, space robots. Now, if you look closely at that clip, you'll notice- Your, your, Salen your Salentos' boyfriend? Okay, cool. Happy gay day. That. Based. That's a photo of Anthony Fantano. Oh, Th man. This is real. Like, they actually fucked up and- Damn, Anthony Fantano actually did shoot Drake. I fucking knew it, dude. That's why he was in the wheelchair in Degrassi. I fucking knew it, bro. Put this photo on a live news broadcast. And that's because the actual guy looks kind of like Anthony. Damn. And people on 4chan were posting side-by-side -side photos of him. So I think it got to the top of Google. So yeah, the boomers at the news station probably saw the top Google search results and then got confused and put the wrong photo. Rako's trap harem. In the depths of the R9... A what? Trap harem? What kind of trap are you asking? Me saying? There was a man who was up to some tomfoolery of the highest degree. I won't rest until every sissy boy on R9K has started hormone replacement. Therapy. Damn, right. what an honorable thing. At the very least, starts cross-dressing. Less shitty jeans in the world and more traps for me. These are the words of Rieko 3333, Base. the most diabolical degenerate in 4chan history. And that's saying something. Rieko's main goal in life was to get as many people as possible to start doing HRT and become traps or the real the real trans grooming conspiracy. Okay, guys. Femboys. The his fuck evil is, plot is was laid out by one of his victims in this post. Once his scheme was discovered, he made a lot of enemies and a lot. How does he do it? Oh, he's wait. He forces people to fucking. A lot of people. His plot was laid out by one of his victims in this post. Wait, join trap discord. They ask a picture of me dressed up in order to join. Shit, it's like a cult. Everyone works some something called, oh, they call him the N-word. Some person called Rico. It turns out they've doxxed me and have all my info. They're blackmailing me with pics saying that if I don't take HRD, they'll mail it to my family and friends. They've done this to numerous people. Jesus, holy moly. That's fucking crazy. <coughs> oh. Post. Once his scheme was discovered, he made a lot of enemies. And a lot of people are trying to dox him to this very day. Turkey Damn. Tom made like an hour long video about this guy. I suggest you guys watch it. It's it's absolutely insane. The Grifter. The Grifter the is grifter. the title of a video that supposedly will ruin your life. People who have seen this video are said to experience depression, nausea, nightmares, just general feelings of unease. All there's left of this video is a small yeah. clip. So be warned. If you're easily disturbed, skip ahead three seconds. I am. Hey, it's Franklin. The first known mention of okay. this video was in 4chan's ex- <laughs> board in 2009 oh but apparently the God. video itself had been posted to samuel super chatted one dollar and 99 cents hyperpar victory hand well it looks like a 
box peace sign what's up brother or sister or this sir? but by this point it had already disappeared from the internet there was a video posted on here back in 2008 don't know exactly what it was because i never had the balls to watch it everyone who saw it complained about having nightmares and not being able to describe it Mare, most nightmare. people didn't even want to talk about it it was on YouTube originally, but it got taken down pretty quickly. Well, it wasn't snuff or anything like that, but apparently it was just some really weird audio visual thing with some moving in the background that created this really unnerving feeling. Uh. People reportedly got sick, having nightmares, and apparently even whacked themselves. But I don't know if anyone confirmed that. Let me just say, it all. was the worst two minutes of my life. I'd rather fap to three guys one hammer 10,000 times before I ever watch that shit again. What is that? Those were some uh, testimonials. The only thing left of its existence like now it. is a few still shots that are allegedly from the video. Jesus. I mean, let's be honest, it sounds like another horseshit creepypasta, but you never know. You never know. Ori Chef is referring to this strange Facebook account that was discovered by somebody on 4chan's paranormal board. So I was just on Facebook like a normie that I am, and I came across a comment in a post that's a bit unnerving. The comment was obviously not entirely in English, but she explains how she wants to be cremated before her husband or some type of thing. She kept Weird. talking about her friend Susie or something. I got weirded out by this and tried to click the Facebook account to know what the fuck is up with this lady. This is where it gets weirder. This is her friends list. I don't know why, but I suddenly got creeped out by how many of What's this weird voice? For her accounts there are. Every picture was recycled by her and only slightly changed the name. Every bio she adds has some kind of weird or cryptic message of some kind, like cheese bread from an almond milkshake or pita bread from a seasoned beef, kind of shit like that. So people were naturally confused as to the purpose of these accounts and why they had these weird, seemingly nonsensical bios. Could these be some kind of coded messages or somebody who's mentally ill? An AI gone rogue? A Maybe. troll? I don't know, there's a lot of possibilities here, but it gets even weirder. More like a lot of possibilities. <laughs> weirder when OP came across a comment of hers that was just a list of phrases. And again, these phrases made no sense. Translated into English, they read, always take a bath every day, always use dental floss after brushing your teeth. True. What's wrong with those? Oh, those strange to you, Dantavis? You know those fucking things, bro? What the fuck? Always use mouthwash, seven years old enough, after brushing teeth. Always use deodorant after taking a bath. Be like me. I don't know what- I don't use deodorant, sorry. That's about, but I feel like OP is trying to subliminally influence these sweaty neckbeards into cleaning themselves up. Now, Maybe. somebody actually reached out to Ori yeah, on Facebook and asked why there's so many accounts, and she responded that she made <laughs> them because she uses them to play games on Facebook, which kind of makes sense, I guess. I've done this too back in the day, you know? Why are you in super chatted $1.99? Okay. Those trap femboys just gave me bingo. Oh, you got Papa got bingo? Beautiful, brother. In order to unlock certain <laughs> items in a game, you would have to send an invite to one of your Facebook friends to join the game. Yeah. So people would just make another account and send the invite to themselves as a workaround. But that still leaves a lot of questions unanswered. And the story gets even weirder. Alongside the nonsensical ramblings, you find random pictures of gore and things of that nature. Gord? This is delicious is cake. You must eat it is a phrase that originated on 2chan, but later became a popular meme on 4chan as well. It's a reference to Super Mario 64 where you beat the game, Peach gives Mario a cake. After all that bullshit oh. that she put Mario through, and all I thought it was, uh... I thought it was like a EDP thing. He gets is a stupid lousy a cake. Z. The Z board was a short-lived 4chan board where a new moderator was chosen from the user base every month or so. The first mod was a guy by the name of Soviet Russia, Stop. and much like the real Soviet Russia, the board quickly descended into chaos. At one point, it was pretty much just all gay porn. After only Base. a few months, Moot and WT Snacks closed Z permanently, and it went down Base. as another failed experiment. Dreamscape, or My Diary Desu, is a book that was written by a collaboration of people from 4chan's literature board. Here's the description. Successful marathon runner. Survivor of sexual abuse, Damn. son to a transgender parent killer, violent car crash. Transgender parent killer? A trans person that kills parents or a parent that kills trans people? I'm confused. Enthusiast. Jason Fadon dwells within the world of dreamscape, where everything is not as it seems. In Jay's journey, we come to experience mind-boggling oh. revelations in places where we may never have considered. Discover the true nature of Chef Boyardee's classic beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. Treatises and essays on the condition of the virtual and mimetic age. The implications of the new sincerism in Islamic Scandinavia, with twists and turns that simply defy the laws of narrative reality itself. Become awakened and enlightened by this extraordinary piece of fiction, all crafted by the ever-pioneering community on 4chan's literature board. God damn, man, this is the most plot-heavy story I've ever heard, but honestly, I might have to pick up this literary masterpiece. Put it right next to my copy of Fear and Trembling. 4chan trying to knock over a traffic cone. So there used to be these sites, I don't know if they still exist today, but they would just live stream random locations around the world. So this one guy found one in Norway that was pointed at a traffic cone. He then issued a challenge to 4chan to see if they could knock the traffic cone over without actually doing it themselves. So these mother suckers started ordering pizzas to that exact location, hoping that the pizza guy would accidentally knock the cone over. Okay. But they were unsuccessful. So next, they would call the... Why would he knock it over? Did they write a note saying knock it over for a tip? Like, what the fuck? Paramedics and police 
to that location, hoping that they would knock it over. Oh my god. But when that didn't work, some schmuck called his cousin in Norway and lied to him that he was in the country visiting and to meet him at that address. When his cousin showed up, obviously Anon wasn't there. So they were hoping that the cousin would get mad enough that he would kick the cone over. <laughs> Oh my god, what an asshole. Holy shit. And eventually they got the wish. The dude got pissed, got in his car and drove off. But when he backed his truck up, he hit the cone and knocked it over. Oh my now, god. There's no video evidence of that last part. Wow. Of the okay, well if there's no video evidence, what the hell? Hell, I'm just going off what the guy who made this iceberg chart said. Damn. It could be all a lie then. What the fuck? But I believe At least the guy didn't die or something, you know. The thing I read on the internet, so it's probably true. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, uh, based. Interesting video. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face.